Hello, this is Ryan Ellis, and this is Ecclesiastes chapter 1. Here are some fun facts for you. Solomon David's son wrote Ecclesiastes, and it is a book of poetry. Ecclesiastes is a favorite book among atheists and agnostics because it at times says things like, Live for what's on earth, it's all we have. We are no better than the beasts. Who knows if we'll go up into heaven or stay in the dirt when we die. These things, Solomon says, are vanity, and Solomon ultimately says to follow God because it is God that is going to bring us into judgment after we die. We really have no choice. We have to follow God. The phrase under the sun is synonymous to Paul's phrase in this present age. Now, some more background and context. Ecclesiastes is a book about the vanity of life without God. The motto of the book is first given in chapter 1 in Ecclesiastes 1-2, Vanity of vanities, says the preacher. Vanity of vanities. All is vanity. The book gives various paths to take in life apart from God and calls them all vain. The book ends by concluding in Ecclesiastes 12, 13, and 14, The end of the matter, all has been heard. Fear God and keep his commandments. For this is the whole duty of man, for God will bring every deed into judgment with every secret thing, whether good or evil. A better translation of the first verse is to say that this is the whole of man, not the whole duty of man. So you could say, to be a whole person, I need to fear God and keep his commandments. Well, this is impossible because we've already sinned. We can't be perfect. We have to be perfect to get into heaven. But it says in Romans 3, 23 and 24, For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God and are justified by his grace as a gift through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus. So that is to say, we've all sinned and we've fallen short of being able to get into heaven. So we need to accept this gift that is through the redemption that is in Jesus. He died for our sins. He uh, was a sacrifice for us. We need to accept that. So do that and then by all means fear God and keep his commandments after that. That is actually your prerogative after that. It's faith that gets you into heaven and works that prove your faith. Now on to chapter one of Ecclesiastes. Here is an outline to bear in mind before you read the chapter, which I encourage you to do after this video. There are three parts in Ecclesiastes. Some of the first part is the limitations of work and wisdom. They are highlighted in the first chapter. Verses three through 11 talk about the cycles of creation, saying the earth is a seemingly permanent fixture but we're just passing through from life and the death. Verses 12 through 18 talk about the futility of work and wisdom, that cultural endeavors cannot reverse the futility of repeating what has already been done, for all die and their works are forgotten. Now, here are five questions with which to discuss after reading the chapter. First one, this chapter, do you love it? Do you hate it? Why? Two, can you find Jesus in this chapter? Three, What would you say to an agnostic or atheist that used this chapter to favor their agnosticism or atheism? 4. How wise are you compared to the average person? And with your answer to that question, the fourth question in mind, 5. What did Solomon mean when he wrote in Ecclesiastes 1.18, For in much wisdom is much vexation, and he who increases knowledge increases sorrow. Alright, I hope you are blessed by this. Bye.